Welcome to Spocket for Suppliers. In this video, we will review how to complete the sample CSV template in order to bulk upload your products to Spocket. First, we will review how to fill out a template for a product with variants. Let's use the example of a t-shirt. The first column is the handle. In this column, please enter the handle of your product. The next column is the product's title, which will be displayed on your product listing. Your product title must be between 5 and 50 characters long. Body. This column is for your product description. The description can be in HTML format or plain text. HTML format will ensure that your descriptions are formatted to your preference. Please leave the type column blank. Tags are descriptors used for search functionality in Spocket. Please use commas as separators between each descriptor. This field is optional, but highly recommended so that retailers can easily find your products. Option 1 Name. This is your product's variant, such as size. If the product has no variant, please leave this field blank. Option 1 Value. This is the value of your product's variant, for example, small, medium, and large. Please note that for every variant value, a new line must be created. Option 2 Name. This is your product's second variant, for example, color. If your product has no second variant, please leave this field blank. Option 2 Value. This is the value of your product's second variant. If your second variant is color, your values can be red and blue. Please note that for every variant value, a new line must be created. If you have a third variant, you can add two new columns, option 3 name and option 3 value. The process is the same as for option 1 and option 2. In this example of a t-shirt, I will input type under option 3 name and I will input v-neck and crew-neck under option 3 value. Spocket can accommodate up to a maximum of 3 variants only, so there can be no option 4. Variant SKU. This is the SKU number for each product variant. Variant Inventory Quantity. This is the product variant's quantity. Variant price. This is the retail price of your product. All prices are in USD. You do not need to include the dollar sign in this column. Image source. This is a web link to your product's image. Please note that the web links need to be direct image links hosted online, not links to your website or product URL. All products are required to have at least one image. There is a maximum of six images that can be uploaded in this column. Each image link needs to be put on a separate row. Do not put duplicate image links on separate rows, as it will upload multiple of the same images to the product listing. Images in this column will appear like so on Spocket. Variant image. Please note that this column is optional. This is the web link to the variant image and there can only be one image per variant. Images in this column will appear like so on Spocket. Finally, drag your handle down to encompass all rows of the same product. If you have a product with no variants, the process is very similar. The only differences are that you'll need to leave the option name and value columns blank. If you need to add multiple images, Please insert a new row, fill in the handle, and paste your direct image link in the image source column. And that's it! Once you're finished filling out your CSV template, you can send it over to us at Spocket and we will help you bulk upload all of your products. Happy Spocketing!